Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Stream Fire application to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is super easy and it will take you only a couple of minutes. And without any further ado, the first step is we have to get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have Downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you do not have Downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course, just follow me. So we go to search, open the search bar, and start typing downloader in here. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. You click on it, and here is that orange application, which you gotta get. But then after you got downloader, it's not over yet, because you still have to set it up. And of course, we are gonna do that straight away. So we have to go to settings, then scroll down, open My Fire TV, and now from there we need to access the developer options. But there is a thing that on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that is the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then there is no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That is in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them. Make sure to turn on the ADB debugging. Then you need to head to install on apps. And from here, just locate the loader. Here it is. And turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet. And not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now we head back to a list of apps near device. Let's open it. And here is the downloader, which we set up. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say we connect to Slovenia right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video or in a description of this video, you will get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for an RDPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we have to go back to the list of apps in our Fire Stick, open up, and it's time to head to the Downloader. So you open up Downloader, oopsie, a little misclick. So yeah, we should go and open Downloader. There you go. And then open the search bar, and it's time to enter the code in here. It's gonna be 66. Two, nine, two, five, zero. So again, it's 
6629250. That's the code you have to enter. Then you just need to click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you would get even more content about Firesticks. And now the download of the app has started. Usually it takes only a couple of seconds. Then click install and wait a bit until the installation is fully finished. After that, do not click open yet. Instead, it's better to press done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you don't need anymore on your Firestick device. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on your Firestick. And it's really important because by default your Firestick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. Then we go back to a list of apps near device, open it, and up there at the bottom you will find the CB Streamfire application. So enjoy the app and see you next time. Bye bye.